Yehoshua lets the people work in the Megdash after they lied to him. Why would Yehoshua let them work in the Mishkan? Just like in the time of the Ir Mikot, when a person accidentally commits a sin, such as murdering someone, they run to a safe haven, a place of refuge. Um, and this can also be applied to our daily lives. Yehoshua wanted um, his, uh, the people to get positively influenced by the Megdash. Um, this can also be applied to our everyday life and like influence, surrounding ourselves with positive people. Hmm. When we are young, we satellite around our parents, and they influence us. <laughs> Sorry. She's a new member. <laughs> and it influences us for hopefully the right ways. However, when we grow up, we have to surround ourselves by our friends and later on our own family. And we have to make sure that we surround ourselves by positively influencing people and go the right way. So, like, I didn't even do a bracha this morning on my breakfast. Ugh. I just, like, don't believe this stuff anymore, you know? Like, the yam soup happened. Come on, it's oh really unreal at this point. Like, yeah, right. Excuse me, guys. I couldn't help but I couldn't help but overhear your conversation. Come work in the mink All right. Julie, we love you and we want you to do so good in this life. We want you to have good morals and have good friends because we won't be around. Got it. Got it. You always tell me this. Surround yourself with great people and make sure you're a great person. Oh, hey, friends. Do you guys do Torah? Do you guys learn Torah and do mitzvah? Yeah. yeah. I want to be your friends. <laughs> OMG, yay. The end. <laughs>